It is 10 past five in the morning and already my day is a roller coaster. So to start off with, I had a pretty terrible night's sleep. I'm starting off negative here, but bear with me, okay? I woke up at like sort of 1 a.m., very confused, thinking it was the morning, and I was awake for a while, but I felt like it was more of like a, a half awake, half asleep, I think, because I'm not quite sure what was real and what was dream. So it sort of blurred the lines of reality for a little while there, but I remember being awake at 1, and I remember not being very rested. Then when my alarm did go off at sort of 5 to 4, like it would normally, I was very rested. I was feeling very positive. I even got up out of bed before the backup alarm in the other room went off. So I was pretty, feeling pretty good. I got downstairs and I realized that I've got cheese bites to cook. So the mozzarella dippers, cheddar stars or something, I don't know what they're called. But I thought, you know what, put me in the oven 10 minutes, jobs are good. And I was feeling positive. And I started going about my day. I start, I get, get my Huel ready, you know, I iron my shirt. It's all going about standard. But I'm feeling, you know, I'm feeling pretty good today. So I'm going to make the most of this. Because I'm not sure if you realize, but I've been feeling quite down the last sort of three days or so. Um, it's been quite tough to actually sort of maintain conversation with people and sort of contribute and, and laugh along and stuff. It's, I've had, it's, been, it's, been, it's been weird, I don't know what it is about it, but I've been feeling pretty negative lately. This morning I'm working on feeling oddly positive, so I'm really trying to capitalize on that. So I made sure I watched some funny YouTube videos with some lining, and I've, I've stayed positive and I've, I've planned my day out and sort of work-wise as well, so I'm, I've got a pretty clear idea about what I want to do today, which is always a good thing, and I have to wing it. And as I'm feeling great that I get a phone call from the security uh, on the center that I work on saying that the, they've done a perimeter check of all the stores and they've accidentally pulled open the back door of my shop. And I'm like, how the hell do you do that? It's first thing in the morning. Like, they, 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 they do those checks like first thing at night as well, so like 10 or 11 in the evening to make sure that everyone who's just left, left work hasn't left the door unlocked. They checked it and it was fine then. And now they checked it this morning and it's not. So I was I then suddenly I'm like, okay, this, this day's taken a worse turn for the worst. Not the worst, but a worse. So I get my cheese bites out and I put them in a little Tupperware container, which is <laughs> right here. So I'm hopefully trying to snack on those in the car in a minute, but I haven't started yet, so if it's not safe, I won't. And I start grabbing all my things up ready because I've got to get to work a lot sooner than I planned because I've got to make sure they, I've got to send the alarm off basically and secure the back door again. Even though I'm starting work at like 6 a.m. anyway, I've got to be there for as soon as I can. So it looks like I'll be there for about half past five. Fucking hell, it's on the road. Okay, people are everywhere. Hey, what is happening? All my right of way, people. Get out of there. But anyway, I gather all the things up. I rush through. I quickly say goodbye to Joe, who's in bed still because she's on day off today. And I jump in the car. And as soon as my car pulls out of the driveway, I get another phone call from security again saying, Oh, there's been a mistake. And I'm like, Oh, God, now what could possibly happen now? I was like, Yeah, it wasn't your shop. It was one next door. You got the wrong door. Sorry. But, right. Okay. Well, I'm already on my way now, so. There you go. But that is actually good news. However annoying it is that they've got the wrong door and called me anyway. I was already up. I was already going to work regardless. They haven't been in the middle of the night. We're okay. Everything's worked out quite well. So now I'm in the car with plenty of time to get to work. I've got loads of time. I can sit in the car. I've got my Switch with me and I've even got my, my Minecraft world downloaded to it too. So I can sit in the car and play Minecraft whilst eating cheese dippers with um, a sauce, I don't know if you can see through the camera there because it's hard to chew in the car, but a sauce of mayo and ketchup mixed together, like some jerk sauce, jerk sauce. There's been no alarm call out. I got my day planned. I've had a good morning. It's, it's all worked out quite well so far, so I'm gonna try and keep hold of this, grab onto it, and just enjoy my day. Plus, the sunrise now is beautiful. Look at that, it's like fire. Oh, phenomenal. I mean, seriously, just look at that sky. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? Can I zoom in a bit? Is that gonna work? Kinda, yeah, that's that's still pretty great. It looks better in real life, honestly. The viewfinder, I can see that it doesn't look as good as real life. Cause that, is, there's so much detail in it in real life. I'm like, can I get it to focus? That would be really nice if I can. Oh, there you go. Look at it. Oh, it's so good. I'm so pleased with how well that came out. That was fucking perfect. Well, now that I'm home, well, now that I'm home, I can officially confirm that I did forget to drink my coffee this morning. I took it to me, took it to, to <laughs> I took it to work, and I was starting to drink it, then you can see, it, maybe you can see through the shadow there, I got halfway through and then forgot about it, left it in the car. The car now smells like milk. I also kind of forgot to eat these four cheesy stars. They're just cheddar cheese wrapped in like breadcrumbs, and I forgot to eat them. I ate the sticks, the mozzarella sticks, the mozzy sticks, they were very good, but now my car is, very dairy.
Not great in the heat. What can I say? I was captivated by the beauty of that amazing dawn. This is something else I want to show you too, actually. This is what me and Joe are currently doing. So on the whiteboard thing here on the fridge, we're playing a game where every, well, basically a day, but every turn we take, we have to draw a line on the box. So it's like, it's like a, a grid. You draw a line, and as soon as you draw the last line of a square, that becomes your square and you own it, and you can take, take another line. So basically, if I put a line here... Then Joe would put a line here, then you get that point, then you put a line here and get that point. Then you'd have to put a line somewhere else, and then there'd be another turn. But I just wanted to point out the fact that we're doing this, and it's really cool because we got a little turn tracker down here. So right now it's my turn, so I'll draw a line and I'll slide it over to the J when it's her turn. So we're playing the game just gradually without even mentioning it. We haven't even spoken about it. I've just I put some rules at the top and then it's just carried on going. And it's it's working really well. I'm enjoying it. I think I'll put my line. Yeah. Oh, left hand. Oh god, that's a wobbly one. I'll redo that. But my driving force for today to get home on time was I need to make a sandwich. I wanted a ham sandwich for... I, it feels like about 13 years, but it's probably only about half a day or so. But I'm so craving a white bread, a soft, a soft white bread sandwich with thick butter and mayo with ham. Oh, yes! No, I like sophisticated things. I like highbrow things. I like complex things. I like delicate balances for the ecosystem to ensure that the equilibrium doesn't become upset. I like things that work perfectly. I like things that mesh together. I like complex designs. I also like basic bitch ham sandwiches because they're fucking wild. I also like mid-afternoon naps. Maybe I'm not complex. Maybe I'm basic. Right, I'm just about to go to my dad's, but I'm now uh, popping into the Bargain booze across the street there because I've realised that I've got no caffeine for the morning. and That's not something I want to experience, so I'm going to pop in there to get some sugar-free energy drinks. Maybe I've one tonight too because I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like a fancy, actually. Look at these guys, how sick do they look? Like the fucking Power Rangers. It makes me really want to grab like a whole set of them, like get all the colours and lay them across somewhere. I think that would look actually kind of awesome. So maybe I'll try and keep these cans alive, but maybe not. Maybe I'll just drink them and bin them. But yes, that, I've not had some before. This one's quite a new one to me. And this one I've only ever seen once before. So I'm excited. And this one's delicious too, by the way. That's probably my favourite one. I swear I'm not addicted. I just really like them. Just a very quick mini review of this yellow drink, right? This is Monster, if you hadn't gathered. It's from the brand Monster. And there's a few different brands you can buy of energy drink in this country. One of which is uh, quite a big competitor called Rockstar. And that's not something that I'm a fan of, actually. I've had a few of those in the past. And they're very acidic -y, very strong, very sour almost, quite a lot of them. This one, although it's a lemon flavour, it's a very smooth lemon flavour. It's more like a lemon curd kind of flavour. It's actually kind of delicious. Mmm. But enough about the flavours of energy drinks. I am going to do my console out of the back of this car because... PS4 should be in here. And I go to my dad's and we're gonna chill and play some video games for a few hours. And suddenly we're back. So I spent a few hours playing Overwatch actually. Not played that game in so long and it thought it was about time to dig it out again. Had a 25 gig update, but yeah, it got it working and it's actually pretty decent. It's still very fun, still incredibly stressful. Like, oh my god, I was squeaking the controller so hard at some rage moments, but Still pretty fun. Anyway, it is now a quarter to 11, so I'm going to end the vlog off shortly, but before I do that, I'm going to jump in the shower because I need to get showered into bed. Otherwise, I'm going to have no chance of getting like to sleep in any good time. Okay, I'd like it on record that I fully intended to record the outro for this video and then edit the video together to get it rendered overnight so I can load it in the morning. That was my full intention, but who am I kidding? I'm going to go to bed. I, I need to sleep. I'm so tired. <laughs> Even after I go... 45 minute nap in the day. I, I can't handle this. It's so hard work getting up at four o'clock in the morning every goddamn day. But on that note, hope you've enjoyed today's video. <laughs> and if you have, a like rating is very, very appreciated. But otherwise, I'm still back tomorrow, every day at 7 p.m. UK time for the next daily vlog. So thank you very much for watching. And Alexa, turn off bedroom. Okay. And I'll see you all later. And Alexa, turn off bedroom. You're fucking shitting me. And Alexa, turn off everything. What? Why are you such a dick, Alexa?
Turn off everything. Okay. Fuck me.